Um, during the North American Solar Challenge, we have about 25 teams from universities all over the United States and Canada, and they all come together to compete against each other with solar cars. We're starting in Plano, Texas, um, right outside of Dallas, and we're driving up to Winnipeg, Canada, and then over all the way to Calgary, Alberta. Well, this is the ninth car that we built. We started in 1989. It's made out of all carbon fiber in the body, but it's very lightweight. Um, this entire body only weighs about 90 pounds. The frame is made out of aluminum, and that weighs about 55 pounds. Our last car could go 76 miles an hour. The regulations changed, so we had to make the car a dramatically different shape. So it's a lot less aerodynamic, but it should have more power from these solar cells. We've um, fit more solar cells than ever on the top of the car. This array is going to produce about 1,400 watts in its peak. The solar cells are very fragile. They don't like rocks getting kicked up by trucks. And there are about 700 of them, but about $50 a cell. Let's see, our race tires are especially made for solar cars. They cost $100 a piece, and we use one set a day. So $400 just a day on the race is what that's costing us. A lot of the things during the year didn't go our way. We had a lot of delays with um, manufacturing and everything. We just got our frame three weeks ago, and so we put together our chassis in like a week. We all think it's really fun. We've been working on it for so long. It's great to be able to finally build it. Um, all our hard work over these three years I think we'll do really well.